Hey everybody, this is Eric Nam, and this show is brought to you by Mindset by Dive Studios. Now, before you just fast forward this sweet, amazing little um, advertisement, I just want to tell you that Mindset is something that we've worked on so much, so hard here at Dive Studios. So please, if you haven't done so already, please check it out. You can go to GET Mindset, getmindset.com, or go to the link in the description of this podcast episode, or you can go to my Instagram or my socials, and there's a link in my bio. Now, what is Mindset? Mindset, okay, is a very important application where we have stories and boosters and all sorts of tidbits and personal intimate collections of audio from myself and other artists that are coming very very soon you guys can enjoy it and if you take part and you purchase you get access to a live free q a with me eric nam and you're giving to a great charity it's called doctors without borders and you are going to enjoy some really good content so so many good things come out of this one thing called mindset again go to getmindset.com to check it out now back to your show Welcome to the beauty bar where we tend to beautiful people just like you. We're your beauty tenders, Joan and Stephanie. And we want to make sure that you're not only treating your face, but also yourself right. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you okay, did. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> A quick shout out to our listeners for all the love and support. We really appreciate the positive feedback and hope you guys keep tuning in because we got a lot more in store for you. If there's anything skincare related that you want us to discuss in future episodes, let us know on our socials at The Dive Studios. And be sure to subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. And please leave a review on Apple Podcasts with a five-star rating so that more people can know about our show and get these insider tips. Thank you. Do you watch a lot of YouTube? Yes, I do watch a lot of YouTube. Is there like a specific type of video that you like to watch? I love watching DIY oh, videos. Oh yeah, because you really like the DIYs, right? <laughs> and I, I watch vlogs of, yeah. of fun people. I do like like someone named like Joan, Joan Day. Day. Yes. <laughs> no, I watch a lot of YouTube for research purposes. And one of the trendy topics is what I eat in a week videos. Oh. And people love watching uh, influencers share their favorite recipes, a realistic what I actually eat in a week video because there's like this thing where a lot of people challenge themselves to do clean eating. And like if you follow this diet, you might lose a certain amount of pounds or kilos. So there's like a lot of popular popular food videos online. Have you watched any There of is. But sometimes I wonder if it's really all that true. Mm. Or if it's just, you know, for YouTube kind of thing. So today I hope we can really talk about what we realistically eat. Yeah. And what's good for our skin to eat. Uh-huh. The true talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So something that I learned about Stephanie is that you have a food Instagram account. (laughs) We actually talked about it because we both have a food account. Yours is called… Worst model ever. Spelled W-U-R-S-T model ever. Like sausages. Yeah, I know. I thought that was so (laughs) clever. (laughs) I love it. I actually got into it because a lot of my friends mm-hmm. in LA are foodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they would ask me, hey, do you want to come and mm-hmm. eat some food and take photos? I'm like, sure, why not? Yeah. And it was actually really, really fun. And yeah. I now I just started it up again. And I want to do some soul food cafe recommendations yes. of where I go. Which I will probably all be some gypsum, Korean <laughs> barbecue, chips. <laughs> I also have an Instagram account for food. It's called Joan Food, like good food. And I have certain hashtags depending on where I'm at. So it's Joan Food in Seoul, Joan Food in LA, Joan Food in NY. It really depends on where I'm at. And then I'm like really into it. I love uploading pictures of food. 
It's, it's kind very of very satisfying. It is. Yes. It makes me very hungry. I have so many pictures of food on my phone. So I'm like, why not just upload it? And so I think it's a great way to organize your favorite meals. <laughs> if you have your hashtags, you know. To transition to our beauty bar topic. What are some ways you maintain a healthy diet? Do you eat certain foods to help your skin? I actually get this question a lot. Oh, really? Because I'm a model. Mm -mm. So people always think that I somehow have the the key to being skinny. Oh. Which, I mean, I think it depends on really your body type already how you were born. Like mm. some people are just born naturally skinny. And I know I hate saying that because I think it always makes people mad. So for me, I do watch what I eat in the sense of what I found the key is, mm. is moderation. Mm, yes. I hate dieting. And oh, I yes. think I tried many diets, even uh-huh. though I'm already naturally skinny. When I first moved to America, I found my love for fast food. Oh, yes. Very. The place to be. <laughs> and now that my parents weren't with me, because in Germany, we would only eat fast food on like special occasions. Oh, wow. Like if I would get a really good grade in school. Oh. We would eat fast food as like a a bonus. Uh But now I'm in America alone. I'm like, oh my God, I can eat whatever I want Uh every day. So I put on a few pounds actually. Mm -hmm. But because of modeling, yeah, I had to work out, start working out Mm -hmm. and try to eat more healthy Uh and kind of fight that love for fast food. But I still love fast food. That's like my big, big bad it's just salty and good. I mean, what yeah. can you do? <laughs> For sure. That's like the honest answer. Mm. <laughs> uh, but well, I found out, I mean, I don't eat fast food every day. Mm-hmm. I just went back kind of to my roots. Like, oh, today I will treat myself to some yummy cheeseburgers. Yeah. I try not to eat it every day, even though I could. Oh, I think that's like the, the secret. Mm. Moderation. Yes, moderation is key. I love to eat all three meals in a day. Because I wake up early, I will have breakfast and it's the most important meal to me. So I eat breakfast like a queen. (laughs) What do you eat? (laughs) Um, I make myself a breakfast burrito. I have some fruits. I have a cup of coffee. Breakfast is my favorite meal. So I like to really treat myself so that I can have a good day. Nice. No, that's awesome that you take that time. <laughs> yeah. You're so punny. And then, <laughs> and then I eat all my meals. Like I, I cannot uh, follow the starving diets because oh. I get hangry. Yes. I get angry when I'm hungry. So mm-hmm. my brother and mom avoids me when they can sense that I am feeling hungry. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think maintaining a good balance is having a pattern. Mm -hmm. Because if you're eating all over the place in different times, your body, I feel like, I think your your body likes a good balance. Mm -hmm. So um, I I don't know if that, yeah, I don't know if that (laughs) answers the question, but I know what it's like to leave your family home and discover (laughs) all the fast foods because. When I lived with my parents before going to college, I would eat at home more often. Mm. But when I moved to the Bay Area, where late night was such a big thing, I gained 17 pounds in college. You know, freshman 15, I went above and beyond that. That's how competitive I am. I (laughs) will do it. You know, there's like this ice cream challenge in the Bay Area. It's called the Fenton's Ice Cream Challenge. And it's 12 pounds of ice cream. And if you finish it in 12 minutes, you win a t-shirt. And all my friends were like, you can't do that. I am so stupid. Like, I'm like, I have to do it. I have to prove to all these people that I can do this. You're the ice cream queen. And so I completed it. I won the t-shirt. And also develop lactose intolerance after that. <laughs> Two wins. <laughs> yeah. No. So don't overeat. <laughs> I do. It's, I would keep that it's too. It's a yellow shirt with… It's, I think it says, I completed the Fenton's challenge. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> no, you're young and 
<laughs> no, and then that stuff. was the road to freshman 17 for me. <laughs> and then afterwards, um, I think after I graduated and moved to Korea, that's when I started to get in this um, flow, you know, eating… Healthy? Uh, yeah, eating… Kind of? Well, or kind of. I'm not eating burgers. Regularly? I would eat two bagels in the morning. Oh. And not just one, two. It's like one, two, one, two. <laughs> That's four servings of bagels. I, I used to eat a lot of bagels in college. <laughs> Oh um, my gosh. But I think that's when my skin started to get bad. Because um, mm-hmm. I went on this cheese tour. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, I feel like I'm oversharing. Too. I feel like it's just your story. Joan versus lactose. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, like I really… I didn't like cheese until this cheese tour. <laughs> and then um, the next day… Well, yes. One, I'm lactose intolerant. And two, the next day I noticed that I started um, getting some breakouts. Mm. But then I didn't think it could be because of cheese. But then afterwards, because it got so bad, I went to see a dermatologist. Mm-hmm. And she said, you need to change your diet. And I said, oh, what food should I be eating? And she said, no, you should stop eating um, like lots of processed flour and uh, dairy. Yes. So I was like, oh, so the cheese that I consumed <laughs> did this to my face. So um, even though I love cheese, I do eat it in moderation. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> yes. Uh. Oh man, that was that was Amazing. That was too much information. <laughs> That's, I learned so much about you. I know. Okay. <laughs> Shall we transition? Oh man, I feel bad but, for our listeners. But I feel like with diets, they don't like… There's crash diets. I was vegan for like three months. Oh. I did a juice diet. Mm. And I feel like nothing really works mm. unless you're willing to really change your diet mm-hmm. and work out. Oh yes. Do you work out? I do Pilates. Oh, me too. Yes. Yes. I like I like Pilates. It's like mm. a good mix between stretching my broken bones and <laughs> also like working out a little bit. Right. Yeah. I also walk more in Korea. You yes. You notice that? Yes. In LA. I drive my everywhere. My friends used to judge me for walking 10 minutes to the grocery store. They're like, you're going to walk? And I'm like, yes. <gasps> it's a thing. You walk for 30 minutes in Korea. Yeah. Yeah. In Europe too, you walk a lot. Yeah, you walk… I get like 25,000 steps when I'm visiting (laughs) Europe a day. That's a lot. That's That's a lot of steps. That's a lot. Right? But I did notice that after I moved to Korea, because I'm walking so much, I'm able to exercise it out. Because after you eat at a restaurant, you're going to walk to the cafe. And you don't know where that cafe is. It could be next door. You know, it could get be lost. across the street. You know? It could be up a hill. It That's could. happens a lot in Korea. In Itaewon especially. <laughs> like, let's hike up here. Like, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now that we shared our personal, very personal experience, <laughs> just especially with milk-related products, <laughs> uh, let's see what science has to say. And PD Nim compiled a few scientific facts mm. for us to take a look. Okay. Anything that jumps out at you? We have a lot here. We have a page full of them. I'll read one. It says, mm-hmm. don't crash diet. Kind yes. Of like what you said earlier. It doesn't work. Mm. Repeatedly losing and regaining weight can take its toll on your skin, causing sagging, wrinkles, and stretch marks. Mm-hmm. Crash diets are often short in essential Vitamins and minerals too. It is always best to eat a healthy, balanced diet. I agree. Yes. What's one that catches your eye? Uh, my, I, what I read here, BBC, Good Food recommends eating a minimum of five portions of fruit and vegetables every day. Do you? I actually do eat a lot of vegetables and fruit. Actually, oh, I wow. do. I am not a huge snacker. Mm. I usually don't snack on like chocolates or chips. It's just something I think I grew up with oh. maybe. Because we also… Like sometimes of course I eat popcorn chips like watching a movie. Mm-hmm. But when I'm hungry, mm. I don't snack on like empty calories I mm. guess. I will cut up like a bell pepper and just eat a raw bell pepper. I really like that. 
I applaud you for that because I can't do that. Really? <laughs> or like an apple yeah. or orange. Like I really like snacking on stuff like that. I don't like vegetables. Oh my god. I like fruits. And so yeah, I like I like fruits. I don't like vegetables. Like you see this? Really? I don't like I could just snack on this. I don't like I, I love cucumbers. I hate this plate right here. I don't <laughs> like celery, carrots, or tomatoes. But I like ketchup, which is a weird thing. And I love pizza. So it's like it's it's very weird. I like apples and bananas. I like potato chips. I love potatoes. <laughs> I'll just boil potatoes and I just eat boiled potatoes. Wow. With like cream cheese. It's I'm not so going good. over to your house. I'm gonna take my chips. <laughs> My boyfriend is a huge snacker. He's oh, like, he? he's like, don't you want this? And I'm fiance like, fiance oh. again. <laughs> my fiance. Oh mm. my god, he snacks all the time. Oh. oh, and he always complains why I don't buy snacks at the grocery store. And I'm like, like I'll make you snacks. Here, have this. I would be no, so mad if you did that to me. <laughs> I love like just eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. 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 I do respect you so much for that, though, because vegetables tough to eat. For me, at least. It helps protect your skin from cellular damage caused mm. by free radicals. Free radical smoking, pollution, and sunlight can cause wrinkling and age spots. Mm. Vegetables are healthy. Yeah. That's what they say. Fruits too. I'll eat fruits. <laughs> I'll eat lots of fruits. <laughs> I don't know why I, I hate veggies cherries. so much. I'll eat… Oh, oh my gosh. So I went to a restaurant and ordered a tomato soup. I just eat the soup. And my friends will reach over and eat all the the kondegi, the 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 chunky veggies. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the <laughs> Wow. Joan is really anti-vegetables. <laughs> I like tomato soup, but I don't like the chunks inside. I'm so picky when it comes to food. Um yeah, it, it's gotten a lot better though. Okay. What's your like Number one food. If you could only eat one food forever, what would it be? If I'm not lactose intolerant, pizza. I love pizza. Yes. It's flour and cheese. So I have to be very careful (laughs) for my skin. Yeah. No, seriously. Everything is so good. It's so bad for you. Mm. How are you? What would be your go-to food if you can eat it every day? Spaghetti bolognese. (gasps) Sounds so good. Yeah, I love a good pasta. Like with some real good mm. sauce. Yeah. Meat. Mm. Mm. Yes. Let's read another fact. California-based dermatologist Dr. Karen Campbell says, Omega-3 fatty acids are helpful at calming inflammation. I've heard this before. I actually take supplements with Omega-3 to help with my skin. I Ooh. take it daily actually. And I think it helped. I just take it because oh. I haven't broken out from it. But Oh wow. Um, I just take vitamin D. So oh I yeah. Do- it going, moving here. on. <laughs> um, which can can be the cause of some of our most problematic skin issues like cystic acne and all of our blotchiness. So I do think that omega-3 might have helped um, control my cystic acne because mm. I used to get those often. And then while supplements won't clear up your skin on your own, vitamin D Ayo. is one you may want to have on hand. Yeah. I love like also vitamin D. Since we live in Korea and it gets very mm. dark and cold. Yes. It's supposed to also help you… I don't know if I can say directly with depression. But oh, because yeah. you don't get enough sunlight mm-hmm. in the winter, I take vitamin D too. Because oh, wow. last year, I got really sad oh, yeah. in winter. No. <laughs> from coming from California. Yes. And I was like, what? I'm like, it's just so sad. It's gray and dark. Yeah. And I don't know. And where's the sun? No, I, I totally feel you when it's gloomy. I don't want to do anything that day. Yes. I don't want to film videos. I just feel very down. And so I get that. Vitamin D is very important. Not just for our skin, but for our like emotional health. I yes. Feel like. Agree. As our understanding of acne continues to evolve, mm. we may eventually have clearer guidelines about the best diets to pre- prevent or treat it. For now… Whether you're a teenager or an adult, it's likely that there's no single diet that will guarantee clear skin. Mm. So enjoy your favorite foods in moderation. Yes. Hello. Amen. (laughs) If you find that some of them make your skin worse, you'll have to decide if they're worth it. Yes. And the source is from Harvard Medical School. So you want to, you want to, you know. (laughs) Go and believe them. I think that just goes back to 
you kind of just have to figure out what works for you. Oh, yes, of course. No, I, when I found out I have that food intolerance against raw onions. Oh. Cooked onions are fine, but raw onions, I get a headache. Oh. Like, it's not like an allergy. They say it's like a food intolerance. Oh. Do you have any food allergies? Except lactose intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> Except all the good stuff Vegetables? in the world. Vegetables? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I I haven't I don't think I'm allergic to anything really. It takes more than just a good moisturizer to have glowy skin. Got to look what you put in your belly. Yes. Too. I agree. Well, I I experienced that firsthand because mm. after breaking out from <laughs> from that cheese tour, <laughs> I um learned my lesson and realized that I need to eat my favorite foods in moderation. So you got to cut down on the alcohol. Oh. Not saying you oh. specifically. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, Bushidos. that was one of the things that my dermatologist said. She said, you should uh, also avoid alcohol because there's so much sugar in there. Mm. So I said, does wine have a lot of sugar? <laughs> my grandma drinks a bottle of wine, wine every day and she's fine. Yeah, wine is <laughs> good. I love okay. red wine. Yeah, no, I did my research after hearing that. I was like, <laughs> what like alcohol can I, can I drink? So we asked for your own personal tips or questions on skincare. And here's what you said back. Discord VIP Diver. Oh, it's called Diver. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew that. <laughs> Mabel said, I'd say… As a foundation, drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, eating less processed foods, and just being in a peaceful space helps. Then for actual skincare, I've been looking at more natural stuff for a while. I use oatmeal on my face sometimes. Ooh, this is a very good tip. I mean, that's like the ideal. Sleep a lot, drink yeah. a lot of water, mm. eat healthy. Yeah. Don't stress out. Mm. I wish it was that easy sometimes. I know. But I think we can always just try to do our best and… Mm. I definitely don't drink enough water. Mm. Does coffee count as water? <laughs> no, right? Soda has water in it. Oh my gosh. I know. I, I love soda too. It's bad. I used to be better about… I, I was better about drinking water. But then it got pretty bad. I should change that. I try these days actually. <laughs> I feel like… There's the also e apps. Huh? Apps that remind you to drink oh, water. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You press the cup. When you drink the water. Yeah, there's like there's eight glasses game. on there. No, I've seen those apps for sure. From this list, drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, eating less processed foods, and just being in a peaceful space. The easiest one of these four is to drink enough water, I feel like. <laughs> right? Getting enough sleep is so hard. I love sleeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's really hard for me. Um, eating less processed foods. That's hard. That is a bit hard. And just being in a peaceful space… Hard with the COVID virus going around. It's not a peaceful space yes. wherever we are. So I, I feel like since drinking water is the easiest on this list, we should make an effort to do so. Tackle one at and first. One at a time. Yeah. Yes. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like especially trying to make changes in your lifestyle. Because mm. we're such creatures of habit. Right. It's hard to change. So… You know, even if one day you just trail off, it's it's okay. Like, you know, just keep trying. I think that's the only thing we can really focus on to keep trying to right. become better. Yes. Discord user Sophie said, drink lots of water and eat less oily foods. Yes. Here we go again. It's like everybody knows, but nobody mm. really… But I feel like also everyone knows that and everyone hates hearing that because it's… You know what I mean? If you watch those tutorials on YouTube… Five steps for clear skin. Drink lots of water. Next four. It's like, I already knew that one. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> Tell me something new. <laughs> and I do that. Drink water. <laughs> <laughs> Drink lots of water. And now we're going to end with a question. Has your routine changed at all because of this pandemic? What was it like before and now? Sometimes it's hard to have a true structured day. Oh, yeah. As like morning… You know, lunch, evening. Mm -hmm. And I try to be like, oh, now I have to wake up and do my skincare routine and mm. eat and do all that. But it's so easy to kind of just get lost and lay on the couch and watch Netflix. And then at 6 p.m. and you're like, wow, I haven't even brushed my teeth today. <laughs> <laughs> like, great day. 
it, it's very easy to get lost in this uh, like timeless kind of warp zone. So right. I try to have, even if I'm just staying home to be like, okay, now it's morning time. I'm going to wake up, do, wash my face, do all that stuff, eat something mm. and not just get lost in time and space mm. in Netflix. <laughs> what about you? Personally, for me, I feel like in terms of self-care, it got better. Because before, I was all over the place. So many different projects, mm. events to go to, traveling. Mm. That messed my skin up so much because my my skin would react to all these different climates as well. Because oh, yeah. East Asia is very humid. Um, California is super dry. So… On months where I had to hit different countries, my skin would just be a mess. But mm -hmm. now that um, I'm home more often, I yeah. have a set routine. I wake up, eat breakfast, do my skincare routine, and so on. Mm -hmm. So I feel like um, I'm trying to focus more on myself, if that makes sense. That's because nice. I have this time. So, I mean, it's different for everyone. But personally for me, I feel like my skincare game has gotten stronger during this time. <laughs> That's awesome. Because my skin honestly has never looked this clear. It looks in great. In five years. I mean it's not perfect but I don't break out as much anymore. Oh. Yeah. And I think also it's because we're going to be talking about this in the next episode. But facials. I go in for more facials now. Because <gasps> I have… I'm here. So next episode, all about facials. Korean skincare. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that wraps up the second What have episode. we learned? Um, I learned to eat more veggies and drink water. Eat this carrot right now. <laughs> no. Take a bite. Oh, I don't want it with eat ranch. The celery. <laughs> I would eat the celery with lots of peanut butter and cranberries. I would eat this carrot if it's boiled. <laughs> and then I would eat this tomato if it's in pizza form. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible. Moderation. 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 Every it's time we hang out, I'll bring you a piece of celery. Make sure you get your veggies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for you. For you. Um, if you wish to stay updated on this show, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Full episodes will be up on youtube.com slash divepods. Also, please join us on Patreon at patreon.com dash The Dive Studios for exclusive content and ad-free listening from The Dive Studios Network. Once again, subscribe to and review our podcast. Five stars. That would be lovely. <laughs> that was so nice. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. That would be very… Mm. I'm gonna tell all my friends. Everybody yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your grandma, your cat. Yes. Everybody. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. You like that? You like that? You want some of that? You want some of that? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And please turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss an episode. Nope.